Hello, my Yankee friends. Hello, Miss Heather. Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It's been a while. It's been a while since we had our magic mirror. And I see Elizabeth. And I see Allie. It's so nice to see Allie out and about. And I see Jamie. And I see Chris and Dana. And I see Mary and Ruby and I love the comments. Lee, hold on, I'm getting there. I love the comments and people are like, oh, what a throwback. Thank you, Heather, for having her son make that for me for Christmas. I got to tell you, though, I really, I, I need to decide. I wanted to um, spray paint it like chrome, like a gold chrome or a, but you hear that? That's me putting it down beside me and I'm afraid I'm going to get it all scratchy and icky so I'm trying to decide on another color or I don't know I just love it but anyway okay so what else is, I could well I think I'm thinking teal I'm going to change this whole wall too but if you're just tuning in for the replay you can skip forward eight minutes because only the cool kids are going to hang out for the next eight minutes because only the cool kids missed me. I haven't seen you guys in what seems and feels like forever. I know many of you I saw last night for our um, part three of our masterclass series on coloring. If you missed that, you missed this here. I don't see what you see. Hold on, let me switch this. There we go. You missed this card here. Ignore the Happy Mother's Day. That's a side. Every card going out of the Inky Studio right now is Happy Mother's Day because I've got the vendor fair. I've got the Farmers Market Fair on Saturday at the Millerville Agricultural and Racing Society. I don't know, Millerville Market in Millerville. That's where people go and sell things they make. And I don't know if you knew this or anything, but I make a lot of things. <laughs> Did you know that, Heather? No. I know, right? I need a Kleenex. I, I'm, I'm fibbing. I make a lot of things, and unfortunately... I have more cards in my studio than I have friends. So I'm going to take a stab at that. Um, I blew up my Lego art and some of you guys will know what that is. Um, some of you guys will see it come up on the website. I have like hundreds of combinations now. I have almost a hundred different Lego figurines. Um, I don't know, 75 plus backgrounds three different frames so mix and match everything from star wars to it to minecraft to superman to superwoman it's crazy but anyway so i'm gonna do those i've got wine bags i'm so excited about those and would you believe that my good friend cheryl lee who likes wine happened to have a bunch of empty wine bottles well actually this is really peculiar because they weren't empty apparently the wine went bad so they had to dump it out and wash it. How is it possible, Heather, that wine would go bad in Cheryl Lee's house? I don't know. But that sounds suspicious. It does sound maybe suspicious. Maybe from her mom's house. Yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. So where was I? I was at Lee and Michelle Christine Edison. I haven't seen you in a minute. Shirley Gladwell. Barbara. Just, just Barbara. Hello, Barbara. How do you ever possibly you must have had a youtube account for a while because how do you possibly get a, a youtube name just barbara can you call yourself whatever you want no it has to be part of your you would think that that would be taken but lucky barbara she's just just call me barbara all right so um karen fancy meeting you here do you guys know each other dana karen i'm not sure I'm not sure. dana meet karen karen meet dana nice to meet you guys okay yeah yeah and there's kimberly it's just the story she told me, absolutely. And Kimberly texted me today to let me know, which I thought was really nice to her so I could tell all of you guys. It is buy one, get one free right now on, I believe, Canson and Strathmore. Let me look back at my little text here from Miss Kimberly. Strathmore and Canson. So uh, is that what she said? Buy one, get one free or buy one? Buy one, get one free. So now is the time. If you've ever watched any of my videos, um, oh, thank you, McAfee. They just block some risky connection. I only have YouTube open, but I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, um, I think I clicked see report now. I got stuff all over my screen. Anyway, um, if you've ever watched any of my videos where I talk about the Strathmore or the Canson or whatnot, then
definitely now would be the time to save some money and go pick those up. Um, go to my um, kit.co. It's it's right down there. Okay, kit.co, K-I-T dot C-O slash Mikey Fingers. <coughs> Excuse me. And go to papers, papers and cardstock. And all the Canson and Strathmore's that I use are in there. And those they carry at Michael's. Okay, and that's definitely buy one get one and especially especially the bristol okay because that is awesome for your copic coloring pencil crayon coloring so if you've ever been like ah oh, you know it's so expensive now it's buy one get one free you can get mix and match right so get 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 two get four get six so nevertheless a uh, kim hello kim nice to see kim so tonight i have got um i'm going to put this as aside Tonight is the, um, tonight after this video is the My Inky Fingers Spring Coloring Realistic Flowers class, which some of you will have gotten this kit in the mail, Coloring Realistic Flowers. Some of you will have downloaded it. If some of you are going, what? I didn't know about this. Don't worry, because you can thank Chris Hartley for suggesting that I do a downloadable version for this kit, which I did, and it is linked down below, downstairs, go all the way down, past the root vegetables, past the jams, and you'll see it, coloring realistic flowers, and you can download it. And when you download it, you'll get all the information you need and the link for the class that will be after this, okay? So class will start as soon as this video is over, by the way. But um, I kind of put some stickers here so that uh, when I was at the craft expo, that people didn't think they had to make a Mother's Day card. But as you can see here, um, this is Copic coloring. Well, you probably can't see that it's Copic coloring, but it's Copic coloring. And then bringing in really dark pencil crayons, okay, to create the shading in here, okay, just to give it that realistic feel. And it's really difficult to blend blacks and grays into a pink R83, R85, R81 Copic, right? So same here on the lily and same thing here in the leaves, bringing in those dark grays and blacks and they're hard to blend. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, um, in case just before you're, you know, oh, I don't have a pencil crayons. Blah, blah, blah. This is all we're using for pencil crayons. Okay. And they're all listed in the YouTube video description. And for markers, I put them away R81, 83, 85, and two or three of the greens. So very, very, very limited amount. The entire series this month was based off of these colors. Uh, I've got a couple cards here. This here was just Copic Coloring 101, Coloring Flowers, walking you guys through it. And then we did Pencil Crayon. That was last night. Okay, so this was just coloring with pencil crayons. And then this was watercoloring. And I could have gone pink, but I had a hankering to color the, wa the watercolored flower in blue, the rose in blue. I just, I had a hankering for blue and I just, it's different and I like it. So nevertheless, that's that. The last thing I'll talk about before I move on is this class. This class was postponed because Spellbinders postponed the release, so it didn't release early enough for me to do a class for this in April, and I'm postponing it yet one more time. I apologize, but I'm postponing it now until June, okay? So there will be no standalone class kit for Mikey Fingers for the month of May. I need... To, to catch up. <laughs> I am so far behind. Um, I was not well last week after just running rampant for over two weeks to do that scrapbook expo. Um, thank you to those of you that came out and said hello. If you are new here tonight because you met me there, thank you for popping in. Um, hello, Melly, and she's... Uh, she's she, I see Melly, and I don't know where I got the Z. Oh, well, there it is in the Koza. I was going to call you she's a... Sheila, hello Sheila. So if I met you at the at the expo and you were here, thank you for popping in and supporting. Um, tonight I have some fun stuff, all inspired by this little book. Okay, so you guys all have seen in the past I've done videos for the washi shop. I absolutely 
love their washi, okay? And if you are wondering, well, what about the washi you had at the craft expo that sold out? I don't have a, a date, a release date yet. So, <clears throat> excuse me, the products are sitting there on my website, ready to launch. Like, I'm ready to click launch. And there's a whole new pre-order system. So, the pre-order system is there and you don't have to have it lag out your regular orders and it doesn't get all confused with everything. So there's a whole new pre-order system. Praise God for my new web guy. But I don't know the release date on those. And thank you for the hearts there. So hello, Amy uh, and Stacy. So look at all these new names. I'm, I'm new. Happy to be here. Well, welcome. We're happy to have you. You're going to learn really fast that everybody is so, so friendly here. So jump in the chat and make some new inky friends. But um, I don't have a release date. So once I have a release date on the washi, and just an FYI, because I haven't talked to you guys since the expo, it all sold out on the first day. Uh, I mean, I, I couldn't have I couldn't have suggested a better a better thing than six by six washi. And I had so much fun demoing it. And all the new um, ephemera packs, I don't have them on the website yet, but I'll give you a little fan through. There's some nice little flowers and I have, oh, look at this one. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I guess I'm a little low, but I have all, oh, this one's another one of my favorites too. I have all of these and there's also, oh, look at this one. I mean, I'm just obsessed with these. There is um, a To Paris with Love set in here too. There's one of the ones from Paris. I have some of these I'm going to use tonight. I have not gotten around to launching all of my new products. I think there's 25 new sticker sets. There is at least 10 to 12 new die cut ephemera sets and if you came to the expo you saw the make and take and we made some there at the make and take um new ephemera packs there's so many things but with everything that goes into my very first craft fair where i sell the things i make at millerville this weekend i'm a little bit kerfuffled okay so the washi shop thank you first of all to the washi shop for sending me yet another huge box of fun stuff. I actually, you know what? I think I have, I have a little unboxing. So let me, let me, hmm. I think, hold on. Cause I think I recorded my unboxing here. Let me just have a peek. Let me have a peeky peek here. Where am I? You are in your craft studio. Okay. Thank you. I was worried about that there for a second. Okay, here, and let's go all the way to the by do. So let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to go to the card kit one, browse, and let's have a look at what they sent me because I got so many things, and they're all kind of now mixed in with other things, so I don't know which are exactly new and which ones aren't, but here so i'll talk a little bit about these as we go um i can't put my face on here because i don't have it small to put on here okay but i guess i'm messing around i didn't get this edited but there's the little book and i'm a little low there but i'm going to show you the book but all of these different um sets i mean i fell in love with some of these florals and whatnot i'm just I guess i should be talking about the book there hey i'm still Still on the book, cute little little um, bookmarky, little silk little ribbon thingies, if you will. I picked the prettiest one, I think. I don't know, you tell me which one you think is prettier. There is a link for the washi shop down below, and if you use that link, it doesn't cost you anything, but it lets the washi shop know, number one, hey, you know, uh, Cindy Lynn was talking about you, and I came here to peruse around because, you know, I saw on her YouTube, so that's nice. And should you buy anything, I might get a small commission, which I always appreciate because it is an affiliate link. So basically, they sent me uh, anything I asked for. So I just kind of went through and I saw some cute little things and I won't go through every single one of these, but I thought I was gonna try and save these stickers too. They were just so stinking cute. But every single thing you get comes so cutely wrapped with the little tissue paper and then your sticker on the end. So if you kept your stickers, I don't know, you could maybe use them in somehow to um, catalog or organize or whatnot. So these here, I'm gonna make sure that I show you really up close to once um, 
once I once I stop this video but it's not just printed flat I mean there's it's it's almost like it's almost like you know when you emboss in clear and then you color it in a lot of their washi it looks like there's like that clear lining and then all the color was filled in around that it's absolutely beautiful I absolutely love it so anyway how about enough with all of those things okay so you get the idea of what it all looks like but what I want to show you let's go into zoom I want to see if you can catch in the light here there you can right there see that sheen so it's almost like there's this clear embossing you know what I mean like these are just so stinking pretty I mean ah oh, I just love this one and then this one I haven't actually opened yet so let me use some that I have open because it'll go a little quicker oh I need to use that one tonight and I haven't opened this one but here's another one so this is the same kind of idea I love blue and yellow together but you see that sheen on there I mean and if you have not seen any of my washi videos let me tell you if this stuff was garbage I would not be talking about it this stuff has a really nice tack and for your washi that might not have such a great tack if you're struggling with getting the washi um, like say you want to put it across your paper okay if you're having a problem with it staying there um, maybe don't hold on that's not flat don't snip it here fold it over okay so that you're creating a, a barrier for it to be able to flip up so um, anyway I absolutely adore their washi I could never even imagine using it for anything like you know your die cutting and stuff and as an example um, I don't know how long ago I put this on here but this has been on here for so long and it actually like just from me touching it like look how long that is stuck on there eventually it's going to peel off right but I probably had this on here for over a year I should probably redo it because I'm probably not showing the washi tape in a good light and when it looks like that right but I got so many now at the dollar rama let me zoom out dollar rama in Canada um, you might find something like this at Ikea if you don't have a dollar rama but it's a little bamboo um, cutlery container but I find it is perfect for my washi and I have many okay I have more in the drawer but this is great great storage for the washi I tried and you might remember I got the plastic you put it all the washi in it like it's tape and it sits out and while it was good I was new and I thought oh this will be great Ugh, it's a pain in the butt let me just tell you it's a pain in the butt so they have so many new ones here this new release they got the kitty cats but I liked these kitty cats they kind of remind me of like Tim Holtzy type stuff because they're not like you can see how they're kind of just a little bit <laughs> these two they're a little bit odd I liked those and then again here they're kitty cats these ones are just a little oh look at this guy <laughs> this reminds me of when I lived on the farm when we lived on the farm we couldn't afford to take all of our cats to get them neutered so imagine this being a black rubber boot and this being the cat and my mom had the iodine and my dad had a box cutter <laughs> And he played veterinarian that's what that reminds me of but this one is so super cute and these ones I can see the line around them they're all washi stickers so each uh, the leaves are not and you know it's funny I do that on my sticker sheets I fill my sticker sheets with stuff to make the sticker sheet look cute and I always say I wonder if people are gonna be like why didn't she cut around that well because you can't cut around everything because if you cut around this then you lose cutting around the kitty right but these ones are stickers as well so you've got some more here so super cute right look at this little guy I love them so these are really easy to just kind of take out now if you want it let's say for example you want to um, put a dimensional underneath the kitty cats hello Wendy <sighs> kitty cats if you wanted to um, put a dimensional underneath it and kind of lift it up and make the cat kind of the showcase like this here can you imagine this would be cute for like a welcome to your new home you know what I mean for somebody you know who has a cat so you can put this on a piece of paper and like a piece of cardstock and then cut around it and then put your little and these will stay let me tell you okay they will not be peeling up on you I have cards I've made with washi tape that 
they're still like the day I made them, okay? Then they have a couple here. Um, I picked these because I don't know why I picked the sewing one. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure why I picked this one. Maybe it came with something else because I don't sew. If you sew and you live near me, can you come and help a girl out? Because I need a tablecloth sewed from a fair. I have a sewing machine, but I use it to make cards, like sew on my cards. So, so I'm saying sew too much. So I don't know why I got that one. But here, I'll show it to you anyway, just in case you sew. So <laughs> why do I feel why why do I feel like every time I say sew, I'm trying to make a like a like one of those funny little you know things when I'm actually not. It's like annoying me. But anyway, so there's the sewing one. This one I liked because it's got all your little potted plants and your little root vegetables and stuff. So I thought that one was kind of cute. This one's just plain. It doesn't have the shininess on it like this fancy schmancy one here does, okay? And then this one has just got some berries of baking and cakes. And Oh, these ones are stickers. Are these ones stickers? These are stickers. Okay, and these are stickers. And then you've got your traditional washies. And I wanted this one because it's a little wider. And it's just polka dots. But I liked it because it's earthy kind of polka dots so I liked that and then I had to get the numbers because well they're numbers I wish they had letters like that and then this one is all stickers as well I believe I think this one's from before is this a sticker I think I got this one before oh maybe these aren't stickers no this is just a continuous one but I think I already had this one so I don't know it's it's a rabbit hole I'm warning you now it's a rabbit hole and um yeah so it's a rabbit hole anyway nice skinny one um this one it's got some little rabbits because i planned on doing something for easter but time got away with me as it usually does so uh there's those now i want to show you guys a couple different things so if i don't stop talking then i'm never going to be able to show you a few different things so this here I was inspired by this because if you know, I have this little book here. It came in one of my Nouveau kits that I bought, card making kits, one of my, uh, here it is. So this is my current, um, it's a lot smaller too than this, right? So, and it's um, my little, this is, um, you know, when I want to <laughs> uh, make cards. So, you know, I just kind of like go in and this is pretty pathetic. So it's a wonder that I'm ever able to make the cards that I do. You don't have to draw to make cards, right? Right. So this, I was inspired because it's got all these little dots. See them? So I was like, hey, yeah, I could kind of stay on track here. So the neat thing is, is this, imagine once it's full I mean, even when you're having one of those days where you're like not feeling inspired, you know, when you're on your Pinterest and you go in, not Pinterest, excuse me, Instagram, you go into your Instagram and you can actually, I don't know if you know this, but you can save everything, right? Well, this is me. I have so many boards, like they just go and go and go. Oh, hi, Simon, <laughs> little Simon plug, but they go and go and go. And you know what I never do? I never go to my washi when I wanted to do something with my washi. It's like, I'm afraid I have, I'm, I think it's FOMO, where you scroll and you look for new ideas. Well, the ideas you already saved were great. Well, how about the ideas that you already created? Or they might inspire you to kind of step it up and perfect it a little more, right? So one of the ones I wanted to show you was gonna be super, super simple, and I'm gonna use this one, because this would be a really cute little, little, Hard. Ow! <laughs> I stabbed myself with these. <laughs> Trying to get this. You should be down. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> Did I scare you? Did I startle you? Because I scared the hell out of myself. Okay, so sometimes because of where they place the tape, you might have a sticker pull up on you. Don't worry about it. Though. You'll never use... Has anybody ever got washi and used the entire roll of washi ever? Other than if you're using it for die cutting, right? But if you ever used, and I never have, I've never used the whole roll yet. So I'm gonna peel off this stuff. There we go, look at that cute little bum. Okay, there's that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I saw, 
I saw this is inspiration. Okay. And let me see if I can tell you who, who I, I don't think it was a card making thing, but, um, let me go back and I'll tell you if there's a name on here. Um, here I go through the maze, the rabbit hole, trying to find where I store things. Okay. So this one, um, bullet journal dot ideas. This was a bullet journal idea, but I thought this would make a really cute card. So I'm going to take my pencil. Oh, let's take this one. Cause I think this one's a thicker lead so it won't be so pointy on my paper. Now what I'm going to do is let's grab a ruler because I want to save this, right? So I'm going to actually grab my one here and let's make a card front. Okay. So I'm going to go all the way to the edge. Actually, you know what? I'm going to flip a page because I want this page to be my, you know, Cindy Lynn's whatever. I can design it. You know what I mean? So anyway, let's make a card front. I should do that side over there. But this side over here you can use for writing. I don't like working on this side because maybe once you get halfway in the book, I don't know. This is just an idea anyway because I thought this was going to be a lot cuter than what I'm currently doing for my card making. So now I'll come across here and I like the shape of this a little better than I like the one that came in my Nouveau kit because this one is kind of more shaped like an actual card. So should I go, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go all the way to that edge. I'm only going to go to here. And this here is just, you know what? I'm just messing around. I want to just kind of get an idea for a card. So I'm going to go here and you could do this on your card, but practice makes perfect. And now you'll always have a catalog of your ideas. So there's my card front. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to create some photo strings because you know how the kids today, I'm learning all kinds of things about kids having a 13 year old in the house now. So they have these photo strings. So I'm going to go up. Well, that's probably up a little bit too high. <clears throat> that's why God made erasers, but I never know where mine is. So I guess a sand eraser will work just as good. So I'm going to do this in pencil, obviously, because, you know, we're trying to, we're trying to make it look good. All right. So now don't go up as hard and fast. There we go. There's one. And then two. And then I'll do one more across here, but a little different shape. And then we'll do... Well, maybe I'll leave it at that. And you could like, you can, rem um, how do I say this? You can remember once you've got it, like, I feel like this could have been lowered down, but that's okay. <clears throat> I can make sure that I lower it down on my card. Cause I think I would want my sentiment up there. Right. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make, I'm going to look at this because I'm going to want to use these guys. Okay. So I want to get an idea of the, about how big, a lot of these little faces are because some of these are like super cute. Yeah. So what I want to do is I want to make these little squares or rectangles. Okay. Like this, like this, like that and bring it up. Now, after you bring it up, let me zoom in here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Once you bring it up, you're going to do this. You're going to make like this and like this, like that. Okay. Just a little, almost looks like a little butterfly, but it's a bow. So you're going to make one here, one here, bring it down and go like that. So that's kind of how it's tied there. And then we'll do another one. I'll make this one a little bit longer because they can all be different shapes. And then once you're done, you're going to go through and you're going to use your marker on these, right? Make sure that you line them properly. But this is like no stamps. Let's just have some fun with some washi, right? And I could probably straighten that up a little bit. There we go. Okay. And here I'll put, I'll put one here and one there and one there. Kind of trying to plan this out a little bit across here. 
another square, and then our little loopy loops, and we'll do a short one here. And you could also, if you want, stick a piece of paper underneath if you're worried that you're going to um, imprint down onto the other paper there. And one more right here. We'll make this one a little straighter and a little shorter. It's kind of a little bit long. And when I say it's got a thicker lead, this one's a, um, no, this one's a five. I thought this one, or is a seven mean it's smaller? No, a seven would be bigger. I never know sometimes because a three, yeah, no, a seven would be bigger. I thought this was my seven lead. But you know what I mean when you're trying to use a mechanical pencil and it's just too pointy? Does everybody want to see the puppy's new haircuts? They're in their clothes, though, aren't they? Huh? You can speak. They're over there. <laughs> Chloe, she can't have that. That's my duster. Okay. Oh, hold on. I'll show you the puppy's new haircuts. Oops, let's close this oh. off here. Hold on, there we go. Okay, so let's take off your little dress. <laughs> so, little Sally. There's Sally's new little, look at her. Ah, she's got my necklace. This is this is how big she is. I think this is how big she'll stay. Like, she is so, oh, she was outside. Yes, she was last, outside. Last time, last night I was showing the girls in class and she had a wet little tushy too. But anyhow, there's Sally's well, she face. She just peed on the front of the little thing over here, so. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, they don't have to wear their clothes. I got, <laughs> I got them some new clothes on Timu. Oh, the Timu order! I did a little, I did a little teaser video. I'm gonna try to put it up next week. But and there's Chloe's groom. You wanna say hi, Chloe? You wanna hi, say Chloe. hi, Chloe? Over here, look, right here, right here. Okay, go, 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 go. And I gotta look at her belly. I feel like one of those stitches is sticking out of her belly. So it won't bio it won't biodegrade. It won't biodegrade. Well, it won't dissolve if it's sticking outside of her tummy. So I keep meaning to look at that. Okay, so there's the puppies. I know many of you have seen them since the day we got them. Lee said hello Todd. Hello Todd. Puppy time it is. <laughs> Sally's do. Todd doesn't like it. I like the teddy bear cut. And a little shorter in the face, like to kind of match the teddy bear. Todd doesn't like it. Okay, so here. This is where we're at so far, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave this zoomed out for a moment because what I have to do now is kind of go in and cut these little guys so that they'll fit inside my little photo frames. I mean, how cute, right? So here... And it's, you know, you can just eyeball it. It doesn't have to be. It can go a little thicker. And if you're like, oh, actually, this one would look good in there. So let's go cut the top off. And then we'll cut it. And it's just kind of like eyeballing. So I'll make a little slit right about there. And then we'll go like that. So this guy will go there. And then, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, penguins. We've got to do some penguins. So let's get these little penguins out. We'll probably have to do two penguins. And these little fishes here, too. This would be cute, having a few little fish go across the little screen. Oh, look at the little duck. Swan and her baby. I like the bum. I'd have to make sure I could get the paws in there. But, oh, some of these are so cute. Okay, so let's get a penguin. I think if I do mm, this one, let's do this one, because I could probably sneak a fish in there. Yes, I think I can. So we'll cut this off, and then we'll cut it along here. It's always better to cut it a little wider instead of too short. Now I can go in and trim it, and then that one's going to work out. I'm going to go a little bit shorter because we're going to make another line afterward. And then this is a sticker too. So when I peel him off, I'm going to have to peel the fish off separate. But I'm going to make a little slit right about there. And these don't have to be perfectly straight, okay? So don't stress about it being perfect, perfect. It doesn't need to. I'm going to move him up here because he kind of turned out more like a square. 
All right. Oh, this bunny. We have to have the bunny that's kissing the butterfly. So let's go real close there. And the bunny, you're going to go there. Did I get that upside down? No. No, no, that's right. Okay. So the bunny. I'm going to lose the bunny's ears, but that's okay. We'll go a little shorter on the other side. And snip off the top. Oh, let's straighten that up a tiny bit. And you can do this even with flowers. Okay, you can take different portions, like maybe some writing, maybe this flower, maybe that. Like you don't have to do it with little critters, right? <clears throat> you can do it with anything that you like. And this has to be a little smaller. Or maybe I can put it here. There we go. It goes there perfectly. Okay, now we need two more. What do we got here? We've got a little panda bear. But I'm worried. Well, let's see. I'm worried that I might not be able to tell what he is if I cut him too narrow. But I think we'll be okay. Oh, Mika's seen something she doesn't like. There, there, and then we'll have to come in right about here, and then just in front of his black ear. So like this. Let's see how this turns out. And this would be a good way to use up some washi scraps, those little pieces that come off the ends, because there's nothing to say that you can't do this with all different flowers or different books or patterns or whatever it is right so oh there's even a cute adorable little fox what all is in here so there's the hedgehog this little looks like a corgi the pandas this animal the chicks the bear the fox the swan i want the swan but i'm afraid that i might not be able to get a good hmm which one We've used that one. I want maybe these little fish, but I don't think there's enough fish together. Maybe, okay, let's do a chick. Let's do one of these little chicks here. So we'll go like, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna widen this one just a bit. So you can do that and then put your little thing in and draw around it, right? Because I want this guy. I want the little fox because she's so foxy. So I'm just trying to trim it. I know I'm probably not in the view there. There. Oh, that's really wide. Let's go back a little bit. There. Okay. Perfect. And then I'll cut it right here. And then I'll draw around it. So let's take this one off and this is just your practice run and this is like as you're doing it this is where you get all those other ideas and inspiration right so all right so let's peel this one off and all it takes is just picking up that release paper with a with a picky poke something really pointy okay so let's put this guy now, you wouldn't see all the little dots behind it either when you have your regular card, right? So there, and we'll come around, we'll go like this, and I am not doing this straight. Now, on a card, I would be using a, <laughs> I was going to say ladder, I would be using a ruler. Words are hard. I'd be using a ruler. So... You guys get the idea, right? Let's get these poked off here. What time am I at? 6.30. Got plenty of time. And our little panda bear. Now this one, I know the bird is gonna come separate. So let's see what happens here. I'll have to put the fish on after because the fish are not part of the bird sticker here. Oh. It all came out perfectly. Okay, they were inside the sticker window. Awesome, or where the sticker was cut. 
So what a cute idea. So someone did this in a bullet journal, and I was like, this would be a really cute idea just for the front of a card. And then put your sentiment on there. Like, I don't know. It was nice seeing you, or I miss seeing you, or, you know, um, farewell from all your friends, or, you know, we all wanted to say happy birthday, or, you know what I mean? That would be good for these. If you did it with flowers, well, that just opens the door even more for more sentiments, right? So especially for someone who likes flowers. So there. And there. Now, when you go in with your ruler and you go around, okay, let's just do one so I can show you. One. If you have a steady hand, by all means, um, well, that wouldn't be smart. Let's do it this way. Oh, I was going to use you. That's why I stuck you there. But let's just put you over there. Um, if you have a steady hand, by all means, it probably will look more organic if you just do it that way. But I don't have a very steady hand. So that won't work for me. There. And then I'm going to straighten up my little line here because it would be off if I did it there. And then you're going to want to draw your little photo thing. And this one, I'm going to try to do it just by hand because it's kind of like a Polaroid, right? And I don't know if you're aware of this, but you can write on top of, whoops, on top of washi. So there. That's kind of the idea. Now, let me see if I can get this line. I would suggest doing these lines before. Ooh, keep going. Before you do all your frames, make sure you've got these lines. Because if this line is off a little bit, then you'll be able to, whoa, I'm so not steady. If that's off a little bit, then you'll be able to straighten it up, right? But then your sentiment... You can just go sentiment and you could do a couple little dots, you know what I mean, for where you might want some embellishments. So there, I mean, I'll probably put one more up here. There you have it. So cute, right? So there's one idea. Now, um, you can also just doodle and think of different things that you could create with washi inside of them and I saw one that I thought was brilliant and I want to show you I have to look at the picture again because I'm not one of these people that <laughs> has these things like stuffed in my brain while well, you look that up can I ask a quick question so yeah Kim Nickel was asking about tonight's class and wondering if she could go and order it on the site still now the digital download and get access to the class I believe so but absolutely I to absolutely because when you download it, you, you'll get a link for a PDF. And in the PDF is the link to the YouTube video. So absolutely. So here okay. doodling. So I'm just going to call this washi. And I'll put a little heart on my washi. Because I don't know how to brush letter yet. <laughs> oh, I am zoomed. So I'm just going to make my washi look cute. Washi. And then I'm going to go D. And then for my O's, I'm going to do I's. Washi. Doodles. <laughs> so there's my, there's my washi doodles, okay? So one of the ones I saw, <clears throat> I should probably do this with a thicker black pen. Um, what do I have this thicker? I think this one is thicker. Or this one. This one might be too thick. Yeah, let's do this one. So, let's go. Get this going. Oh, come on. Don't let me down, Posca. Don't let me down. I need something thicker. Oh, I'm not going to mess with you all night. Okay, so a three. This is a very little one. Uh, what do I got here? A point three. 
of 0.5. Can I have like a 1 or a 5? A 5 would be good. 0.1. Oh, this one might work. Yeah, this one will work. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the base. Oh, I hope I have enough room. Like the... I hope I have enough room. Okay, and then I gotta look at my picture. Hold on, you'll you'll see it come together. Bear with me. Okay, I think I'll have enough room. And I'm gonna do this little bit right here, and then I gotta look at the picture again. I'm so bad. I do not have these things like stuck in my mind. Okay, and then we're gonna go across here and up like this, down like that. Okay, it's a little bit wonky, but that's okay. You get the idea. All right. And then this could have been a little bit more narrow too. Let me do another one. I went a little bit too wide there. I think this would be better like that. And then we'll do this again. Do you know what it is? Or are you like, what is she trying to draw? Cindy Lynn? Stick to making cards. Okay, so this one. <clears throat> put one of these in here. One of these in this side too. And then color this in. This is why I wanted something thicker. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm not an artist. But you know what? That's what, makes, that's what makes you get better is practice, right? I always teach you that when it comes to my coloring. But <laughs> watch out, world, if I ever learn how to draw because then that's a game changer. Okay, so there's that. Now, what they are supposed to be is, where's that color I wanted to use? This one would work. This one will work for one of them. Okay, they're supposed to be nail polish bottles. Did anybody guess it? Oh, look at, Chris got it. Look at that, Chris, you're my girl. You're my girl. She's like, I got you, boo, don't you worry. I know what you're trying to draw. So, I mean, even when you don't have exactly what you need, this one might end up over here now because it's a little skinny. Straighten that up. And then we'll snip it right there. One. Take the backing off. And I'm going to show you right now, after I do this one, um, one, two, three, four examples, and you don't have to draw. So... If I'm losing you in the drawing department, I, I feel you. Don't worry. Okay, there's one. Okay. Isn't that so cute? I mean, I guess the bottle should be more narrow like this one. This one's kind of... Well, mind you, Quo nail polish comes in a, in, a, in a square. And if you're in Canada, you know what Quo is. If you're not in Canada, then you won't, you won't know. But let's go like this. Because you can make lines on your washi. So I'm going to make a line here with my pencil and I'm going to cut inside my lines for this one make it a little easier on me so I know that you can't see me cutting but that's okay just know I'm cutting them there we go and then we'll peel the back off of this one I mean I I would do this on a card I would draw them in pencil first though <laughs> practice a little bit more but there we go. I mean, how cute is that? Little nail polish bottles. So there's a couple ideas there. And now if that's not your jam and you're like, uh, I don't even have time to make cards, let alone make a card in a book, then make a card on a card. I got you. I got you covered because I've got some other ideas. And these are not anything like I've done before. So <clears throat> I showed you guys like foiling on your washi. I have showed you... Um, all kinds of like different things putting your washi down and then die cutting the washi um, I mean I, I've got two full pre-recorded videos on washi so if you want extra ideas then definitely have at that but the vintage ephemera set one the only one that's available on the website out of everything you're gonna see tonight I'm so sorry but this one um, I did a lot in here that I felt was really masculine inspired and um, mixed media inspired, but this one here, I pulled it out earlier. 
This one has got all these neat little tickets on it, okay? I mean, do you see all those? They're really cool. And you can just take this and stick it. I mean, you could stick it angled. You can stick it straight. You can stick it anywhere you want, any way you want. And then I always fold it over. And it was really funny because I'd never worked with washi before the washi shop reached out to me. And that was just naturally what I did. And people were like, oh, I never thought to, to, to roll it over. That's such a brilliant idea. Well, I was like, oh, cool. Great. Glad I could help. I didn't, didn't know that that wasn't a thing. Is just kind of where my mind went, right? So I'm going to double this one because the idea to this card is the only other thing I want to do here is stick a sentiment on it and call it a day because we struggle with masculine cards, right? So this one is like one and done. So I can stick a sentiment on I, you know, I almost don't know if I like two on there now. I think I just want the one. So I'm just going to roll this back up on here. And as you can see, it didn't take tear my paper or anything like that, taking it off. So I'm just going to roll it back on itself. And that one is done. So I probably don't have the right sentiment, but let's pretend. Like, there you go. Your card's done. Obviously, I'm not putting a white with sympathy on there, but um, keep on being you. It's white. I wouldn't put that on there. But you guys get the idea, right? So... You can send healing hugs. I mean, you can put any kind of sentiment on there. And now it's perfect, done for a guy, right? So some other ideas. This one isn't really a pattern, but if you have pattern paper and you're in a, you know, in a, in, in a funk and you don't want to stamp or whatever the case may be, you can take your, this is one of the Paris with Love, you can take your washi, and just add it to it, you know what I mean? And it just kind of makes it pop. So let me pick where I want this. I think right about here. So now this would be a really good example of what I'm talking about washi scraps because this is now a washi scrap, right? So I could use that for a variety of other things. I could even, in my little book here, um, I don't know, you could even just take this and tear it put it in here I should bring it up there you go you know what I mean like you can just add that add it and have a little fun with it and if you're into the journaling or Bible journaling or whatever I'm sure your motor is running because you can be using all these little bits and pieces all over you can use this little piece here and create a divider tab you know what I mean to pull you can oh there's tons of things you could actually cut this piece right here and put it on the front of your envelope because it's got kind of like a little you know what I mean so always think like what could I do with this little piece and leave me a comment too um, if you're watching this back tell me what you do with your little scrap ends of washi I think this one went this way so here I'm just gonna add this here and you know what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna bring this up another day and I am going to stencil over this because I was showing at the craft fair the expo that you can take this is the tin tile stencil the Mayan key fingers one and I put some um, paste over top of it and then I lightly took a little sponge and I just sponged it with some vintage photos so that one turned out really pretty but you can put some paste over it or whatnot so there's one there and then another example, I love this one. I want to show you this one that I got. Where's the opening here? Hello. Where is the opening? I think it might be right here. There it is. Getting it started sometimes is like a little bit of a challenge. There we go. Welcome to Prague. <laughs> I should send this a, a something like this give one of these to Angelina oh that's what they did they folded that back okay so um, this one here is in the vintage or I love Paris Paris my love it's called but this one really doesn't have any Paris indicators on it so um, I can even go this way I'm gonna go this way I'm gonna go this way 
right here because I've got Morocco, Prague, and London all in one. And then this here, vintage stamp since 1859. I'm going to make sure that that goes in my scraps bin on its own because that I can put on the envelope. You know what I mean? So this is really cool here. And I love that washi is translucent so you can kind of see behind it. It doesn't take away from what you're working on, like what your paper looks like or what you've got underneath or whatnot, right? So the, the back comes off really easy. So let's, I like this welcome to Prague. Angelina will appreciate this card. I think I was on this side though. I want the card this way, I want this this way. That's, no. I like this clock, but I feel like this is upside down. Like the, there's no real writing on here. So, um, now I feel like it's upside down again. I feel like I don't know what to do here. <laughs> I'm all confused. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Let's just do like, I got to bring it close to me. Sorry, guys. There we go. I got to bring it close to me so I can see where I'm laying it down. That looks about good. Okay, and I got a little bit of a crease here, so I got to pull it back up. And this stuff, it is so sticky, let me tell you. Sticky, sticky, sticky. So there, and you see how you can see all this design here from behind? I love that. So now, it's kind of like it was meant to be here. I just, I love that. So from there, I'll probably do some stenciling on there too. So there's two examples. And then I've got one more example for you because this one is new. This I got with the order I just got. And this one um, is stickers. Oh, I didn't know it was stickers. That's okay. I'm going to work with it. I didn't know it was stickers. I thought, I don't think I could save this one. No. Is the whole back of it still sticky? Like if you Oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah, yeah, out? it will. The Yeah, you could, but the problem is... Just be painful. Okay, wait, it would be painful. And you know, yeah, they're all stickers. So that's okay, because let me just cut off this end. But I will save that, because that is a good end for other things. But let me see how I can save this, because I pulled out this one, because this one... I love this one. I want it this way. So what I'll do is, why don't we, I'm going to go totally different direction here. So I'm going to, which flower do I want? I want, hmm, I want this flower here. So because this is a sticker, I'm going to give you a tip. I'm going to peel up outside of the sticker, okay, and I'm going to take that off a little bit and just peel it, pull it, okay, now it's gone. And that way, I'm not poking a hole through my sticker before I pull it up, okay? So let's just pull it, I can peel this back this way if I want. Get this under there so I don't poke a hole in my sticker. All right, and then let's go, I like working on this corner. Let's go on this corner. So we'll go one, right there and I'm gonna take this one as well now this one's already gone so I don't have to this stuff is so sticky let me tell you get under this one okay and we'll put this one more like here I'm just gonna build a little thingy here because this guy let me see if I can get that oh yeah see you can also do that so I'll show you what I did I just I just bent it and the sticker comes right up here which is perfect I mean are you seeing this foiling on here how reflective that is that is stunning that is so pretty let's do this one kind of like that okay and then where's that other leaf we're not going to leaf you out. Don't worry. There we go. And here. Do that one there. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty. 
And then in the corner, let's go with, oh, why not? Absolutely. There we go. Do it the easy way. I've always ripped the paper off. And then this one will bring it up. Oh, you know what? I want this one behind this leaf, I think. So let's go like this. Put this one like that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm just going to fold them over because why not? And this one, when I get to a corner, I just cut one of them off. Of course, they wanted to stick together. You little buggers. Get out of there. Get up. Oh, Cindy Lynn. There we go. Okay. So now, cut this one off. Peel it back a bit. Cut it off. There we go. And then I'll fold this over. I mean, look at that. So pretty, right? I mean, how easy is that? How long would it take you to foil this? And then these are all foiled, by the way. Let me see if I can get it to catch for you. There, right there. You see all this foiling here? These are all foiled. So how long would it take you to foil this, foil all of those, and then color them? I mean, done. And I love the way that looks. And this is in the vintage pack, I think. I don't know. You'd have to look online. I'm not 100% sure. I have too many, too many packs and not enough time to use them all. So these here, I will definitely stencil over top of these. I mean, I just, I love them. It feels like a distressy kind of night and a, and a nice, simple, I think I'm in zoom. zoom a little bit. I was just looking at that. A nice, simple masculine card. <laughs> Words are hard. And our, I just love this one. I'm obsessed with this. I need to make more of these. I think I might print off a whole sheet of these just to make more of those because that is like, look at it. It's so pretty. Can you tell it? I think that's my favorite. And then this one, I love this one too, because look at this rose and this rose. I mean, this was not planned. <laughs> this, this here set, I, this is not, they're not, they're not a pair and this either. But I mean, this all just kind of goes together. Look at that. Perfect. And another one that would go good on something like this is the books. I don't know if I showed you the books. Um, if you're a journaler or you like reading books or whatever, I mean, you can put some washi, you know, do you ever have a favorite book you've read more than once? I have one book I've read more than once and it was a Daniel Steele book. But speaking of books, I mean, you could even use these. Okay, this is what just came to mind because um, next week I'm going to show you a card I made for My Favorite Things. But My Favorite Things is notorious for... <laughs> I love My Favorite Things, don't get me wrong. But they are notorious for these little tiny dies that... And, and I'll be showing Heather. She's like, but the dies, there's so many little ones. I'm like, I know. But imagine cutting out your little die cut bookshelf and then just putting this put like one little, one little set of these right there. You can cut the top off of it. You know, what time am I at? I'm okay. You can cut this out and then you've almost got a shelf right there at the bottom. You don't even need to, uh, you just kind of follow along the top here and, you know, give it a little bit of like, cut it nicely so that you can see the definition between all of the books, but let's cut this end off right here and I'll put it on a white piece of paper. And there, you've now got your books to go on the, the, the prog is on everybody's bucket list, I think. And then I've got little Angelina who was like, you know, it's no big deal. It's just prog. So anyway, she's, that girl's been to more countries than I have, but nevertheless. So that one there, um, great idea for that one. There's so many others here. I got dog clothes all over the place. I've been going crazy on Timu. I can't wait to show you guys the things I have found to let you know if they're good deals or not. But there you have it for some washi and a little bit of the My Inky Fingers um, ephemera. By all means, um, they're on the website. Keep an eye on the website because I do plan on spending the better part of next week 
getting uploaded onto the website all of the new products because there are so 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 many it's unbelievable so um oh no fussy cutting i don't want to hear it chris what did you do before you had dyes I, hello melissa sullivan i haven't seen you in a long time i love it when people are like oh fussy cutting and it's like that's all we used to do there like it was never it was never even a notion that there would be something that would cut our things out so if you are fortunate enough to have dyes consider yourself fortunate and i don't want to hear anything about the fussy cutting and then there's people like kim and that's half the battle right and then there's the kims of the world that love to fussy cut i'm not going to say i love it but I'm not going to say that, you know, I'm not above doing it either. So I'm going to do exactly what they do here. I'm going to pull my washi back. I'm going to fold that over, right? And then when I bring it to, I'm just going to seal it. That was a great idea because usually I cut other pieces of washi <laughs> to hold my washi clothes. So I don't know how well that'll work on the stickers. Maybe you could just take up a corner you know, just when you think it's time to go, I just, I, I squirrel and I get another idea and I get talking about something else, but you can take a corner and then get it all nice and tight because there's nothing worse than a whole bunch of washi all unraveling everywhere, right? So this washi will stay on my table. I had, oh, wait, I had one other, one other one, one other one. I have three minutes. I have to show you this other one because it was my favorite. It was the cutest. And I, I cut this out and everything specifically to show you guys this one. Um, hold on. The other one was this one. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Okay. So I'm going to show you this one really, really quick. So all I did was cut this and corner my rounds or round my corners, however you want to say it. Three by four and four and a quarter and two ticks. One, two, three eighths. Okay. So that's about the size of that. This I got in the clearance section of Spellbinders quite some time ago. You'll see these when I do staging for my photos. But this one, so freaking easy. I had I have to show you. I can't not show you this one. Sorry. Class is going to be a minute or two. So I'm going to very lightly put it down. And I'm not going to... I'm going to cut it because I know that that's about the length I want. But I'm not going to depress it because I don't know exactly... But you might see this one. This is going to be so cute. And this one is one. Mm, this one might be. This one might be a little thick. Where's that skinny one? Let's do this one. Maybe or maybe even just two. Maybe even just two. Or maybe I'll cut this one in half. Yeah, let's cut this one in half. Where's my big girl scissors? That would make it easy to cut this in half. Okay, let's just bring out the paper trimmer and can I get this off? Because that's going to make it difficult for me to cut this. So I'm going to bring this here. I'm just going to cut it right down the middle because I can. Perfect. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. Maybe. I don't think this one has a backing. This one might be a challenge. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can cut it down the middle without backing. I don't see why we can't. So I'm just going to tape it right to the metal, about that thick, all the way down. Tape it. And then, oh, heck yeah. <laughs> Look at that. And then this piece, I can just put it right back on top of the roll. I almost forgot this one. Now, I will tell you, I did find on Amazon at some point way back when um, for junk journaling. Anyway, I'm not going to open them. This. Okay. And it was it was inexpensive or I wouldn't have bought it, but they do have these on Amazon. I looked, but I, can only ha I could only find it in Canada. I couldn't find those exact ones in the U.S., so I uh, thought I'll just let you guys find them. So... Spellbinders had them on clearance. I don't know if they still do. Um, usually if it's in the clearance rack, it's not there very long. So there's that one. And then this one, I cut way too long, but that's okay. And I'm glad I didn't put them down too, too hard because I that's not where I, I want them kind of more centered there. And then pick this one up. Yeah, I like that better, right about there. So... Think of all of the different, I mean, you could cut out a bunch of these. 
all the different combinations that you could do here. And then this just goes right on your card front. I would probably, oh, actually, I was going to say I'd probably put it on vanilla, but I kind of like this one. And you know what? You could put a little sentiment, just a note. You know what I mean? Or um, this one probably won't. Hello, honey. Do you know what I mean? Look at that. And there's a dang card right there. It's hard to see with the white. Let me put this underneath as a mat. Because a black mat just changes it all, right? So there. You could angle this. You could do it. I like it angled, actually. Even though I don't kind of... Yeah, there you go. There's another card example. I would have been so bummed had I not have shown that to you. So with that being said, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me tonight. If you're new here, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you for popping in. If I saw you at the festival two weeks ago thank you for popping in and of course to all of our regulars and our ogs and our besties thank you so much for popping in tonight i know there's tons of other things and other videos you could be watching but i always appreciate it when you're here and i'm sure heather does too would you like to say good night heather i do and just a reminder for everybody to hit the like button i forgot to say that at the beginning <gasps> of course the sun is up of course. Thank you. Thank you. And I know I see a lot of names that I'm going to see here in just a couple minutes. I'm going to run to the little girl's room and then I'm going to start the video right away for our class. So get ready to have some fun and learn how to do some really awesome shading in your Copic and pencil crayon coloring. And until I see you guys again, wish me luck on Saturday. And if you're local to Calgary, come and say hello to me at the Millerville Market. And until I see you again, 